Hey guys, it's Melissa with Web of Creativity. In this video, we're gonna do the construction of the box and drawer that is the base of the mini album. So we're gonna work on that first. Uh, part two is the windmill base, which is the uh, next video. And then the third video is of the mini album. Um, so don't forget that I do have kits for this project and tutorials all on my blog, www.webofcreativity.net. So let's get started on making that box. Alright, the very first thing that we want to do is to prep and make some hinges. Um, so these guys are real easy, you probably already know how to make them. Um, but I'm going to show you, you just cut one inch strips and let me get my uh, scoreboard and then we're just going to score them a half an inch. So we're just going to score a half an inch and then fold on the score line. And that's how you just prep. So I just made a bunch of these to start off with. And then in the tutorial I will um, tell you the measurements to trim them down to. Um, or as we go, um, we'll just uh, play it by ear by just holding up a piece of prepped hinge, line it, and cut it. So um, you can either have them all like this or you can just tape them up. So it's up to you if you want to tape them. Um, I use a 3 8 inch tape for my hinges. So uh, make a bunch of them now before you start uh, so you'll have some on hand when you're ready to use them. All right so the first thing we're going to work on um, I might need that is our box. So we're going to work on the um, outside of the box first and then we're going to work on the drawer that goes inside. So this requires two pieces of of chipboard the for the top and the bottom and then we have our three sides um, so that's how we're gonna start off with and we're gonna attach we're gonna take three of our hinges and we're gonna attach them along the edges So now we have, and then we're going to um, line up our sides evenly at the top and bottom, remove the tape, and attach. So we're going to do that to all three sides. So we're going to remove our tape backing, line up our side even, a flush to the chipboard on both top and bottom, and fold over. Remove tape, even, attach. And now we have our sides. Next we have our two small hinges and those are going to go on this side. So this is going to attach our box together. So when we have, when we close it, we're just going to make it even. Look at that. So we're touching corner to corner. So this isn't going to go in, this isn't going to go in, it's just going to go corner to corner. So we'll remove our tape. Line it up and attach. Tape, line it up and attach. 
it's coming together so now it just needs the top we'll take our next three hinges and attach So the first thing we're going to do is um, attach the back piece to the back first. We're going to line it up um, evenly to the back. Then we'll attach the side making sure the two corners connect and the same thing with this side. So I'm going to just uh, remove two of the tapes first. Line it up even. And then I'm going to get my hand in there and attach those two tapes. And then take my bone folder that can reach better. So then I got two attached. Remove my tape. And again, make sure my corner is lined up and attach. And there's uh, the beginning of our box. All right, next we have our drawer. So that's one uh, bottom piece and then four sides. So we're gonna take our hinges that we cut, we pre-made and then stick them around the edges. This is, of course, made similar to the outside of the box. All right, now we're going to attach, just like we did for the box. We line up our side piece evenly with the chipboard at the top and the bottom. And then we close our hinge piece. So we're going to do that all the way around. Next we have our four hinges, our small hinges, and those are going to go on the edges. So I'm putting two on one side and then on the opposite side do the same thing. And then, um, like the box, you put your two pieces together, corner to corner, and not one this way or one this way, so corner to corner. Corner to corner, and attach. Corner 
corner to corner and attach. I'm going to go ahead and remove both of these tapes. Alright, there is our drawer. Alright, now with the drawer we're going to work on the corners. So I have my hinges. These hinges aren't um, trimmed or tapered at the corner so they're just flush hinges and we're going to attach so it's flush to the bottom and then we're going to trim the, the top parts so you have some about a half an inch over the edge trim that and fold it inwards so let's go ahead and try one here so again, I want it, it to be flush to the bottom, so I'm going to start with um, it uh, flat on the ground. So now we got it flush on the bottom. And I'm going to cut a sliver, so it's not just a straight flush cut, it's a sliver. It's I'm cutting a little bit of a sliver out. So first... Um, I'm gonna go right up to the chipboard edge. And I'm gonna cut a little bit on the other side so that we get. So cut out a little bit of a sliver so you see that it's cut, and then I'm going to fold in and then fold in. And that's how we get those corners covered. So again, flush corner. And then we're gonna do that to all four corners the same way. I'm going to go ahead and do one more on camera and then two off. So again, want it flush on the bottom. So I'm using my table as a guide. So it's flush. Then cut my sliver up to the chipboard. So I'm going to go ahead and cut so pretty much I'm cutting a little bit left and a little bit right of that score line. And fold in. And then fold in. Then I can take my bone folder and just flatten that edge out. And there's two of them. All right, for decorating the drawer, we did a, I did a little prep work. So we're gonna add some tape to the inside of the box, flush to the edge. Now, I didn't go all the way over because my paper doesn't go all the way over. So this guy does have a little bit of space in between um, all the way around. So I stopped um, about a quarter inch to a half inch on all sides um, and then on the outside of the box flush to the top flush to the bottom again stopping um, probably you know about a half an inch all the way around and then on the back did the same flush to the edge and then stopping on all the corners um, so we did the edge for when you wrap it if, it if the tape's not on the edge your paper could bubble um, not could, but will bubble, and you'll have a bubble that's going to be hard to get down. So that's why we make sure there's tape on all the edges. So when we wrap it around, um, it will be flush. Then we have the cover for the back and the inside. So for the inside, I trimmed my paper to the size in the tutorial. Um, 
but not all boxes are made the same. So when I put this guy in, it was just a little too big. Um, so when I did that, I just trimmed it down just a little. Um, it's, let's see if you can see. So I trimmed it just a little on both sides and then it fits um, perfectly. And last but not least, before we attach everything, I did ink the edges of my pattern paper. N not the edges of the cream paper, but the pattern. And I did um, Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. I did it lightly. I didn't really need it dark. I just wanted to cover the white edges of the paper. All right. So, um, we will attach... So we're going to start by attaching on the inside. So I'm going to go flush to the back, hitting the back, and um, just right even with the edges. It's not a whole lot of movement. And then we're going to wrap it around to the back side. So I'm taking three sides off and then the back. So we're going to go ahead and and make sure your paper uh, it's hard to tell with this one um, whether it's upside or down or not so I use the back as a reference um, but if you're using directional paper make sure um, it's kind of better that it's not directional um, especially if you're doing it this way or the inside's going to be upside down but if you don't mind then then don't then don't worry about it Making sure it is even. And I'm going to remove my tape. And the reason why this is like half an inch in is because I have tape on the edge of my paper. Gonna fold over. We want a good fold. I need to add a, uh, remove a little bit of this tape backing on the edges. I think it got a little too far. That's all right. And then That looks good. I'm going to take my bone folder. looks good. Now you just repeat that for all four sides. Look at the sides right there. Looks good. All right, so I got my box covered and I need the inside. So I'm going to, um, I, I already removed my tape. I'm going to go ahead and add another piece, strip it down the center. And just add a little extra um, ATG, and that's the end of my ATG. Um, and 
the tape stuck to my finger. Okay. So I'm gonna slide it in. my bottom. Now um, after I decorate everything, any if I have anything left over to put on the bottom of this, um, maybe a quote or something from the paper collection, I'm going to do that. But right now I'm going to leave it just like that. And then we have the back to attach. I know I need to add my tape to this. And that looks good. Now we're going to attach paper to the bottom of the box. So I'll cut out my sheet, added my tape, and added additional adhesive from my ATG. And I'm just going to center it. Okay, so what's left is the handle. Okay, so we're going to wrap the box. So the difference between the drawer and the box is I am added the tape flush to the edge. So all four sides are flush on both sides and the top. Uh, not the bottom. Bottom, we're not there, to, there yet. So um, then we're going to attach to one side evenly. And we're going to have... Um, an overhang on both sides, attach, roll around, and again, overhang front and back. So again, flush to the edge, and then cut out your um, pattern paper. I added uh, tape to the edge of this, and this didn't need to do that, but um, wasn't paying attention. So I'm going to remove my tape from this guy, and I'm actually going to add a couple of strips of ATG, that's my advanced tape glider, put like a little X. I'm going to turn this around so I can see it, because I'm going to do, attach it to the center, so I'm going to want to know where the center is. while attaching it flush to the edge. Oh, perfect. All right. So I got it attached to the flush. I have my overhang that's even. Next, I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to draw a line right at that front just to give it a good crease for when I fold it over and I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape from the box and lastly I'm going to add a couple of strips of my ATG my corners so I know where they are for when it's time to uh, cut them. I'm going to do the same thing with this guy and draw me a line. And 
strip of ATG. Get that crease. do the um, back side first. I'm going to take my bone folder and run along the edge. Okay. And scissors. So we're going to cut um, cut the corner. And this is going to be the same way we did with the drawer. I'm going to cut it um, like before and after that score line. So it's going to be like at an angle. Up to that chipboard. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other corner. So you can see I cut that angle up to that corner so when you fold it won't hang over um, This one at an angle. All right. I'm going to go do this side first. That's this little guy right here. And I'm going to take my tool and just ink those edges. Okay, so we're going to do the sides first. that crease that we made with the bone folder. Just get that nice crisp edge. And there we go. So this is going to get covered and of course the bottom is going to get covered. So let's go ahead and wrap um, do the same thing to the inside and cutting the corners and wrapping them on the inside. So again, we're just going to, I don't know how, it's almost a little too big for me to hold with one hand up to chipboard corner.
and I'm going to take my ink We're going to wrap this little guy in first and then my side. Did I? Uh, I didn't foam fold. Um, give that little crease along the edge. Help it fold. There we go. tucking in that corner. Um, this paper might rip just a bit. Go ahead and ink the corner. That just ripped on me just a little bit, but that's because I'm folding the paper inside of a corner. All right, now that I got the two sides, I'm going to do the big piece. Okay. So now I got the inside. Have the two backs, but um, just because I want to know what it looks like. It's going to look good once it's decorated, and I definitely need a door pull to open that. All right, let me get the other two pieces for the box. We are going to attach um, a sheet on the inside for the bottom. So I already cut it out and added my tape and add a piece of tape flush to the edge on the bottom and then on the back side as well. Of course, start stopping a half an inch on both sides. So this guy's just gonna slide right on in there. Attach flush to the back and then we're gonna wrap up around. And um, if you want to add uh, paper to the inside, you can do that kind of as you're um, attaching your sides and stuff. But I didn't feel that I actually needed to cover the inside. You're not really going to see it. But the bottom piece does need a piece because your drawer will get stuck on the lip of the hinges. So it needs to be a smooth surface for your drawer to come in and out of. Um, also when we're wrapping this um, our paper is going to wrap to the inside so we will have the edges covered. All right so let's go ahead and remove my tape. Three signs and the front. So I got three sides removed, the left the top piece and again I'm just going to slide that right in there all the way to the back evenly to the sides. What I'm going to do is just going to start wrapping it just to get that edge and then I'm going to remove my tape. with my bone folder, rub that edge, and then rub that edge, just trying to get it smooth. All right, next we're gonna do the back. Um, so this is the top side, so this is the back, and I added a piece of tape uh, flush to the edge, but um, half an inch short, cut out my back piece, Removing only three tape signs. I'm going to attach like so. 
so and then using the bone folder give it a little line and fold over you can use some um, pattern paper if you want for the back um, just nobody's gonna see it because I don't plan on taking um, I was gonna say the drawer out but this is the box I don't plan on showing the back um, but if you want to you can definitely choose a different paper than um, the, the cream colored all right and then for the bottom I also have cream again you can choose a different uh, paper if you want So we're going to do flush to this edge because this edge couldn't wrap. My paper was not long enough to wrap. So I'm just going to butt that to the edge of the paper. And nobody's going to see the bottom so it doesn't really matter. You don't have to cover it if you don't want to. Alright, that is our box and our drawer.